Let it be said that I'm a big fan of the kind of parliamentary democracy we have in Canada. However, it is not perfect, and one of the imperfections is that our system allows MPs to instantly change parties. Well, the first day of Parliament after summer recess sure got off to a bang thanks to a Liberal backbencher dropping this bombshell. For me to publicly criticize the government as a Liberal would undermine the government and, according to my code of conduct, be dishonourable. After careful and deliberate consideration, I must withdraw from the government benches to take my seat among the ranks of my Conservative colleagues and join Her Majesty's Royal Opposition. And so it was that Leona Alislev crossed the floor, becoming an instant Conservative. It's a boost for the Andrew Scheer Conservatives and a bump in the road for the Justin Trudeau Liberals. And of course, in the aftermath, we're left to speculate why Alice Lev made this move in the first place. When she made her farewell speech on Monday, Alice Lev lamented that there were large amounts of capital investment leaving Canada. Politics prevent us from getting goods to market, deter com companies from expanding, and undermine our competitiveness. Canada faces a perfect storm of serious challenges at home and abroad. We are seeing fundamental shifts in the global economy, while trade relationships, international agreements, and defence structures are under threat. Now, perhaps we take her comments at face value, that she was frustrated by her party's mismanagement of the economy. Or perhaps Alice Lev, who was a former military veteran and a graduate of Royal Military College, is just sick and tired with the way vets are being treated by the Trudeau Liberals. It must be really tough for a vet to see trash like convicted terrorist Omar Khadr receive a $10.5 million check, whereas patriotic military veterans who are suffering from injuries or dealing with PTSD are, according to our PM, asking for too much when it comes to benefits. Or maybe Alice Lev senses there is a sea change occurring in her writing. Keep in mind, she won her writing of Oak Ridge's Aurora, Richmond Hill, situated just north of Toronto, by slightly more than 1,000 votes. Maybe crossing the floor for Alice Lev simply boils down to an act of political self-preservation. But whatever her true mo motivation was for switching teams, well, it's a moot point because... The point of my rant is simply this, I am no fan of this crossing the floor business, regardless of who is crossing over to where. For better or worse, the people of Oak Ridge's Aurora, Richmond Hill, elected Ellis Lev under the Liberal banner. And full disclosure folks, I live in this riding, but I certainly did not vote Liberal. Now, if Ellis Lev has had a change of heart in terms of political affiliation, for whatever reason, fine. But I find it downright perverse for a Liberal to instantly become a Conservative and vice versa. And I think this flaw in our system has to be fixed. And it can be easily fixed by embracing one of two options. First, if someone chooses to switch parties, then a by-election should take place in that particular riding. And if a by-election isn't feasible, then Plan B would be for the MP to sit as an independent until the next federal election is called, whereupon he or she can run under their new banner. As it stands now, crossing the floor is a form of disrespect and betrayal to those constituents who elected a candidate under a particular banner in the first place. It's time to end this farce. It's just not right. For the Rebel Daunt Media, I'm David the Menzoid Menzies. Hey folks, The Rebel has a new app. Please download that app and take The Rebel with you wherever you go.